Today, we are in Eustis slash Sorrento. It's kind of like right next to each other. But we did a video at Sunrise Grill, and in that video, I think we mentioned Coney's Italian Ice and Creamery, which is right next to Sunrise Grill, just on the corner. Um, it's also in the same shopping center as Publix. And then the Momiji Sushi place that we did a while back. But we decided that we should just go try this Coney's. I believe they've got food. I know they've got ice cream, uh, Italian ice, and I don't Shakes. know what else. Shakes? I'm just reading what's on the door right now. Um, but we're about ready to find out. It does look a little small in there. I don't really see anybody in there, so it might be a little awkward filming. But as always, we will do our best to show you what it's like. Let's go check it out. So down there is Mamiji, if that's how you say it. There's Publix. Over here is Sunrise Grill. And right here, Coney's Italian Ice and Creamery. Let's go read some more about this with all the stuff they have on their window and then let's also uh, see their hours. Look at this Reese's Sunday they've got out here advertised. Looks like they've got some tables you can sit at out here. It shows hot dog chips combo. Um, it shows shakes, malts, Italian ice, floats, ice cream. Let's see, their hours are open daily, noon to 9 p.m. You can see their website there. No cash left on premises. Sorry, we cannot accept bills larger than $20. And then if we go inside, it says the coolest place in town. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Let's take a look at the menu. All right, here's a look at the menu. They have so many flavors. Oh, and the sign changes there. Apple cider float over there. Hot dogs, pretzel, pretzel bites, smoothies, frappes, frozen drinks, frozen treats. There's their homemade Italian ice flavors. They have so many. They have an ice flight. Choose four flavors. Look at these treats. Wow. Got some chips over there. This is what it looks like on the inside. And some restrooms down that way. Now we ended up getting the two hot dog combo. And then I got the ice flight. Choose any four of our homemade ice, Italian ice flavors. I got the small one, but I got cotton candy and I did a swirl. You could either choose blue, red or swirl. I did swirl, I did watermelon, I did dreamsicle, and then I did egg custard. Here's a look at the chips. Over here they have these sodas that come with the combo. Oh, these are all, oh, dog treats? Yep, and then non-dairy or soft serve. My reflection's really bad in here. What are these? Pies, pumpkin, butterfinger, apple, cookie dough, Oreo, and then this is all their Italian ice quartz, $7.99. Wedding cake. There's so many flavors. Pineapple. Caramel apple. Strawberry colada. I bet mudslide's good, root beer. Look at all the cotton candy flavors down here. That's the one that we tried, that black walnut. Yeah, we just tried a black walnut one and it's very good. Homemade ice cream quartz. There's so many. Peach? Cookie butter, carrot cake. Mm. 
I would recommend going on their website online and looking at all the flavors because there are so many flavors. Carrot cake, cheesecake, candy corn, creamsicle. Since our combo comes with a drink, wow, they have a lot of fun choices here. Um, I don't know what to get. A yoo-hoo. Who likes a yoo-hoo? Comment below if you like a yoo-hoo. I think we're gonna go for the Cheetos. So the combo only comes with one drink and one chip. So we went with the ginger ale, and then we went with Cheetos. Here's a look at those hot dogs, though. Those look like very tasty, good hot dogs. Mine's on the left with the relish. And then what'd you get for your treat? I got a scoop of the carrot cake cheese ice cream. That looks good. And here's my little flight. Look at this. I love how they do this, a small flight. So we've got cotton candy, watermelon. What was this one, egg? Egg custard. Egg custard. <laughs> it looks like an egg. Like the yolk of an egg, and then dream sickle. I guess we will start with the hot dogs first. I mean, that's a massive hot dog. How is it? I think total it was like $19. I don't know, I'd have to look at the receipt again, but I think it was $19. Here we go. Now that is a very delicious hot dog. That's, it kind of reminds me of like a Nathan's, Nathan's hot dog, I think, but definitely a good hot dog. I do have to say their relish is very good. Ginger ale, that's that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. Give the ginger ale a try. Ah, uh, refreshing. If you have followed us along for some time and watched our travel videos on airplanes, we always get ginger ale. All right, we finished the hot dogs. Now you're trying your carrot cake cheesecake with a little waffle beef there. Do you get some of it? Yeah, I mean, not enough to judge it yet. <laughs> I'm very excited about these, so I'm gonna give it a try. Also, we're gonna save the chips for later, because I definitely wanna serve this up. I think I'll start with the egg one first. Then we'll go watermelon, then cotton candy, then dreamsicle. Now you've taken a little more of a bite. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Bad? Homemade. All of their stuff is homemade. Italian ice is homemade. They're homemade ice cream. And look up there, all beef hot dogs. Over there they have, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy Italian ice, and that's kind of the same thing. Now they do have a peanut butter ice cream mm -hmm. that you could make into a milkshake. We really didn't know what we were getting ourselves into coming in here, because we've never been. Uh, it's got really good reviews, but um, the staff member that was helping us said her favorite flavor was black walnut. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about that. So we did try the sample and it actually is really good. They have some interesting flavors for sure. I've got to set the phone down for this, but I think I said egg cream. I was thinking of the oh, yeah. New York bagel company, egg custard rather. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that tastes like, but it tastes good. That's very good. I love the consistency. Watermelon? Tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Cotton candy? That's good. And now Dream Sickle. That's good. My favorite is egg custard, I think. That's delicious. They did have, oh, the gelati flavors, which is homemade Italian ice. With soft serve. Layered with soft serve. This is very good. I can't wait to see your reaction to all of them. I love the consistency here. But honestly, the egg custard, I don't even know what it is, but it tastes very good. Now, we're gonna swap. I'm gonna try the ice cream. Oh, that's very good consistency. Have you tried them all? What's your favorite? It's interesting, right? I liked it a lot. 
My favorite would be the... Because it tastes like a Jolly Rancher? Yeah. Do you like the... The continue is me too. Dreamsicle? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all good. Mm -hmm. It's the right serving size too. I don't know how many, how big the large is. Maybe they do two scoops, but I like how you can get four. I will say the strongest flavor is the watermelon. What I would recommend is if you want Italian ice, just to share because this is actually quite a bit and you can try four different things. I love this place. I will be back to try some more of their flavors. There's so many. I need to just start from the top and work my way down. Something I didn't realize that's also up there is you can do a flight of the homemade ice cream. I didn't realize you could do that too, so that's a good option. All right, now we're heading out. Back outside. All right, that was our trip out to Coney's Italian Ice and Creamery here in Eustis, but basically Sorrento, because it's like right next to it. That was surprisingly like, good i mean i'm not saying i thought it was gonna be bad but like that was surprising it's a small place it's a small place so i didn't think they'd have all those options and like i said online they have like five star review um everybody was friendly and there's so many flavors it was very good and then i think we just came a little early because now there's a few people showing up in there mm -hmm. um the hot dog was good it was very filling i think next time we just share a hot dog and then we could share a flight whether that be um the ice cream or the Italian ice. Lots of flavors, consistency is good. I don't know, I think I showed it in there. So at first it was a little awkward just because we were the only ones, but I showed up front, I think, I would have to go back and see. They had waffle cones, but they had a cinnamon waffle cone, a chocolate waffle cone, and then just a regular waffle cone. Um, you can also buy the to-go containers. Everything was good. I have no complaints. Like I said, I think it was around, I'd have to look, I don't really know, but 19-ish dollars, I believe. So if you are out towards this area, and even if you're getting ready to go to Publix or something, stop by Coney's Italian Ice and Creamery right there on the corner by the Sunrise Grill that we ate at. Very good. Mm -hmm. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.